Hey ladies, here is the Bat Hero tutorial. So first and foremost, before you do his face, you have to do his ears. So we have his ears loaded up in there. And the first step shows complete stitches all the way down. And that's because we're going to, we have it that way so that you can see exactly where you want to cut it. Um, so you put your fabric in there. And I have this pleather stuff. Um, you can choose whatever fabric you want um, for his ears. Um, so you stick it in there. And it's only one ply because, again, it has these full stitches that's going to show you where to cut it at the end. And so you don't want to double ply it because then you're going to stitch it closed. So we will start that up and it's going to stitch it out once. Now, you don't have to put your fabric down. You can just do it straight on the stabilizer uh, if you want to. Your preference. Either way works. So I am doing it um, on the fabric. All right. So that first step is done. I don't know it's going to be hard to see because it's black on black and it's pleather, but it has stitched out the entire, oh, you can see it a little bit, stitched out the entire ear. Now these ears are going to be small and pointy, so you're going to need a um, some type of applique tool uh, to flip the ears. I personally use needle nose pliers, you can use chopsticks. Um, whatever you want. So what I did is I had a long enough piece, see over here, and all I'm doing is flipping it over top so that the innards are facing each other, face on face, right side on right side. So this is the outer side. So now it's going to go through and it is going to stitch out the out part of the ear. And it's going to go around um, a couple times to do it, and then we're going to pull it off, and I'll trim it out and show you, and then we will uh, move on to the face. Alright, so his ears have stitched out, so then you're just going to pull it off of your stabilizer. I used tearaway, you can use cutaway if you want. Again, personal preference, whatever you want is fine. Now, the reason why I'm going to show you the back is because you can see the stitches on the back better than you can see them on the front of the pleather. So, here we go. Sorry. Alright, so on this back part, you can see right here is the... Oh, let's focus here for a sec. Come on. Alright, so... You can see the stitches are right there. The reason why we chose to do it this way is so that you can see these stitches is because um, we wanted a precise cutout of his ears. So what you're going to do, of course, is cut around this edging and cut around this edging down this way. And then we are going to flip them, um, flip them around. So let me cut them out and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I have them cut out. As you can see, I like to get them right up and close as possible to the stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip what you can with your hands. Now, again, I'm doing this one-handed because I have yet to get a tripod. I know. I need to. But if I can do it one-handed, you can do it. So you flip what you can with your hands. Okay, so that's what I can do with my hands, right? See? So I have my needle nose pliers. Now some people actually have applique tools. Um, I'm, I don't. I'm not that fancy. And so uh, you can use chopsticks, or in my case, I use needle nose pilot pliers because they seem to work the best for me. And what I do is I actually take it and I pinch the end of the applique. So if you see I'm pinching the very end of his ear and I'm just going to shove that up inside and push 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 and it'll push it and flip it. So if I can do this 
holding this with my chin or I'm going to flip it and then I'll show you. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to flip it using my pliers just to shove it up in there. Something small. You can use anything really because see these are nice and thin and just it'll flip the rest of the year. So hold on one second. I'll be right back after I flip it. All right. So see, I have flipped the ear and what I did was I took the needle nose pliers and I shoved them right up inside as far as I could go as and then I took one side of it because it's smaller and finished shoving up to get the point so there's one flipped now we could have we couldn't make it any wider because then our Batman turns into Catwoman and we want him to look like Batman so again with the other one um, take it open it up as much as you can with your fingers and then you flip what you can using your fingers and then the other part you use your tool um, to flip the rest in and out so then his ears will be ready for um, for the applique so I'm going to get my stabilizer and my hoop ready and we will do his face part <laughs> 